So this question says two different points on a number line are both three units from the point with coordinate negative four. So I think I'm going to treat this like a plug-in picture question uh, because the question describes something that can be drawn. So I'm going to now draw a number line, say that this is zero, and let's say one, two, three, so this is negative four. And then we want two different points that are both three units from the point with coordinate negative four. So we could be at negative seven, but we could also be at negative one. All right, so I'm assuming that we have a point at negative one and a point at negative seven. The solution to which of the following equations gives the coordinates of both points. Okay, so uh, we are told that there are two different points. We're told that those points are both three units from negative four. So I'm pretty confident that our answer should be negative seven and negative one. So now we go to our answer choices and we now it looks like we have to simplify, right? So this turns into like a simplify question, but it's not the common simplify question because common simplify strategy is typically used to simplify something given in the question. But what we will need to do here is simplify the actual answer choices. All right, so I'm gonna start with answer choice A and say, well, if I have the absolute value of x plus four equals three, the way that I simplify this would be that I turn this into x plus four equals three and x plus four equals negative three. And once I continue simplifying this, minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four, what I'm left with is x equals negative one and x equals negative seven, which are the exact numbers that I want. So I'm pretty confident that A is correct because there's no other way to get those values. But you know, if I have the time, I'd probably try the rest of these really quickly as well. So I have x minus four and absolute value equals three. Of course, you know this turns to x minus four equals three and x minus four equals negative three, in which case I'd add four to both sides and I'd get one and seven, so positive one and seven, which are not what I want. So now on the C, C absolute value is X plus, absolute value of X plus three equals four. When I, whenever you solve the absolute value equation, you rewrite the equation twice without an absolute value symbol. The first time it looks just like the original question, and the second equation, you just switch the sign of the answer. So in this case, I get positive one and negative seven. So that's why those are out. And again, D, and again, there's no need for you to have done all this, but if you're still here with me on the video and maybe you chose one of these other answers, um, you'll see why none of them actually work. Um, so we have X minus three equals four and we have X minus three equals negative four. So when I add three to both sides, I get X equals seven. And when I add three to both sides here, I get X equals negative one. But what I want is negative one and negative seven. So that's why D is gone. So choice A is the best answer here.